of organization is the organ. The third organizational level, it is the organ. So what is the organ? In Sinhala, we call it as Avayavaya. In Sinhala, Avayavaya. The organ is made up of collection of different types of tissues. Collection of different types of tissues together. So these type of tissues, so these tissues work together to perform a specific function or common function. Or otherwise, it can be many function. They perform many function. So organ is collection of many tissues. It can be different types of tissues to perform a common function of many function. Okay, understood? For, for example, now we can take stomach. Stomach means bottom. Eh? So, here stomach is an organ in our body. So, this stomach is made up of different types of tissues. What are the tissues? For example, blood tissue, nerve tissue, then muscle tissue. Blood tissue means rudira particle. Nerve tissue, snail particle. Muscle tissue, peshi particle. So there are so many tissues. These tissues work together to perform many functions in our stomach. Okay. So these are the tissues of our stomach. That means animal tissue. The animal organ. The organ is an animal organ. So here, uh, the, these are the animal tissues. So now we are going to see what are the tissues in a plant. So we have to do activity 12.4. Activity 12.4, page number 14. Here you have to take a water vessel. This is the water vessel. Uh, this is the vessel and this is water. So we have to add a red color dye. Red color dye to color the water in red color. Then uh, submerge. This is a basal plant. Basal means kudelu paraya. So we have to dig a basal plant here. The roots should be submerged in the water. Then you can see after some time the stem will be red in color. After getting the red in color, we have to take the plant and cut and take the cross section of the stem. We have to take cross section of the stem. Then we can see what are the tissues in the stem. Okay, we will see what are the observations. The following materials are required to perform this experiment. An ideal material for this experiment is balsam plant. Aqueous eosin solution, ordinary tap water or distilled water, a tiny beaker, blade, petri dish, glass slides and cover slips, tweezers and pins, dropper, compound light microscope. Take a beaker filled with eosin solution and introduce the plant into the beaker. Leave the setup for a few hours. After a couple of hours, you'll notice that the leaves and stem of the plant takes up the eosin stain and appears reddish to orange in color. Now, remove the plant from the eosin solution and discard the root. Cut thin, freehand transverse sections of the stem and collect them in a petri dish containing water. Select one thin section of the stem and place it on a glass light containing a drop of water. Cover the section with a cover slip. Observe the section under low power and then under high power of the microscope. This is the cross section of the balsam plant. We have taken the balsam plant. So when we take uh, the cross section of the plant, we can see like this. There are so many cells, so many tissues. But here I have mentioned the main tissues we can see in the cross section of the plant. Okay, here we can see the red color portions. The red color 
portion this is a tissue we call this tissue as xylem tissue xylem tissue so this tissue transports water and minerals in the plant through the plant it is transported water and minerals okay then you can see here the another tissue we called it as phloem tissue phloem tissue so this tissue transports food to the plant transport food so these are the main two tissues we can see in the cross section of the basal plant so there are many tissues but here we have mentioned only two tissues xylem tissue and phloem tissue um okay now we have to do activity 12.5 here we have to observe the cross section of the plant leaf using a permanent slide so cross section of the plant leaf here we can see different types of tissues in the plant leaf fourth organizational level is systems system mean in sinhala we call it as paddhati paddhati so system system consists of many organs many organs it, it consists of many organs and it perform a common function or many function so system this it consists of many organs to perform a common or many function okay what are the systems we can see in our body there are so many systems in our body the digestive system respiratory system uh, blood circulatory system nerve system and reproduction system there are so many systems for an example we can take the digestive system turn to page number 16 here you can see the digestive system so system consists of many organs so here you can see the digestive system made up of so many organs there are so many organs what are the organs we can see in the digestive system mouth mouth is an organ and esophagus this is each esophagus then liver stomach large intestine then small intestine these are the organs we can see in the digestive system so likewise in the reproduction system and nervous system and respiratory system there are so many organs the so many organs get together work together to perform a common function or many functions so the food we intake digest by the digestive system likewise the other system perform A, a common function or many functions then we have to know what are the systems we can see in the plants let's do the activity 12.6 for it in this activity you have to uproot a cucumbernia plant first you have to uproot a cucumbernia plant then observe what are the systems and organs you can see in the cucumbernia plant after that you have to draw a line diagram of cucumbernia plant and name the systems and organs uh, what can you observe okay here this is the cucumbernia plant then what are the systems you can see in this plant there are two systems you can see there are two systems 
short system and fruit system short system and fruit system here you can see in the short system the above soil we can see the short system and below soil we can see the fruit system then you can see that there are organs in the shoot system what are the organs we can see in the shoot system this is the stem stem is an organ of shoot system then leaves leaf is an organ then fruits flowers stem leaf fruits and flowers these are the organs we can see in the shoot system of plant then look at the root system we can see two organs of root system these are the lateral roots lateral roots and this is tap root so tap root and lateral roots are the organs of root system okay now you know the systems of plant and what are the organs then you have to do another assignment assignment 12.2 page number 17 here you have to take a grass grass plant then observe what are the systems you can see in the grass plant then draw a line diagram of grass plant like this one and name the systems and organs okay the last complex organizational level is the organism organism means jivya it can be animal or plant the last complex organizational level it is an organism so all the systems of our body join together to make an organism to make our body all the systems of the body join together all the system so what are the all system we can see in our body these are the systems digestive system aahara jeerna paddhatiya reproductive system prajanaka paddhatiya nerve system snayu paddhatiya respiratory system shwasana paddhatiya then excretory system bahishravya paddhatiya muscular system peshi paddhatiya last one blood circulatory system rudira sansarana paddhatiya there are seven systems in our body in animal body then what are the systems in the plant there are two systems root system and short system you can see in the plant body okay until now we have discussed about the organizational levels cells tissues organs systems then organisms so these are the organizational levels in the living body Uh, this section is over let's go to another section